what's up? My name is Mike or Kabir, and today we've got Dogecoin. So it went from one, actually 0 0.001 to 0 0.006 dollars, which is crazy because it's not even a full penny. And this is due to the market cap rising from 100 million dollars circulating supply to 750 million dollars circulating supply and it dropped back down to around 600 680 it's fluctuating between there the current market caps for all of the cryptocurrencies is 600 billion dollars and let's chat about dogecoin let's chat about its early humble starts much while let's begin So pretty much a lot of you guys are thinking like Dogecoin is an absolute joke and that's cool. There's other investors who think Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and cryptocurrencies are a scam and they're a joke. I mean Dogecoin has something behind it that very few cryptocurrencies have. It's a community and that's one of the most important things you can find out there. For example, a lot of people laughed at me about Steemit and steam coins where now steam dollars have fluctuated this will be the next video or most likely this is coming after that video but still steam dollars are approaching fourteen dollars now that's not normal however steam is approaching two and a half dollars and it's in fluctuation with the amount of users going up bitcoin has approached twenty thousand dollars this is the year 2017 is the year we stop judging others for what they start investing in we look at the communities behind these cryptocurrencies now maybe dogecoin is not one of the next cryptocurrencies that's going to revolutionize the world the banks certainly aren't going to be like oh, oh yeah let me transfer all my systems straight into dogecoin it's a meme it is a meme coin that is approaching a billion dollars and you know i don't know why it's that community, it's the marketing aspect, it's the fact that people believe in this project and we can look back all the way to 2014 to the humble beginnings of when they sponsored a Jamaican bobsledding team when since 2002 they haven't been at the Olympic Games, they wanted to go to Sochi, they said they need $40,000 to raise and Dogecoin stepped in they were the main sponsor. They put in $30,000 after they collected in Doge and cashed it out, sent it over to that guy. They sent over the bobsledding team to Sochi. It had Doge over there. Boom, fantastic marketing because not only are you getting into plenty of news articles that have never heard about you before, so suddenly you got all these crazy TV shows, radio podcasts, every YouTuber, whatever's going on out there, for the next couple of days, the internet is absolutely heated about you, your project, whatever's going on. They look at it, they're amazed, they're shocked, much shocked, I mean crazy. It's like, you don't understand what's going on. Because, wait, it's a virtual cryptocurrency, but there's money behind it. Like, how did this work? And then you start looking into it, you invest a little. And around this time, I was part of the Dogecoin community where I remember it was, and it was a crazy movement. I went, I made a Reddit account, I made a couple posts, I got tipped Doge by Doge bots and other community members. People were handing out Dogecoins left and right, and those probably would amount to about a, a dollar today, so it's not much, but it's <laughs> maybe, maybe two dollars next year. However, who cares about the money? It's not about that. There are people who have made a bunch of money, millionaires, probably from Dogecoin and from similar meme coins, and you look at stuff like useless Ethereum token, which is a complete joke. Literally, they came out and they're just like, whatever, dude. But that is 2017. We're moving on to 2018, where nowadays we look at these projects, they're catalysts for the future where Dogecoin has sponsored in 2014, the Jamaican bobsledding team. Then they went on to celebrate another victory with $50,000 donated to NASCAR, a team that later they sponsored yet again, and then they started sponsoring more and more and more. And that's the thing, they don't really care about profit, but they certainly care about getting the attention out there. And the fact that they're tipping out small little bits that are amounting to pennies in the end 
it doesn't matter because people are getting super excited about this. They want a part of it. They want a slice of that action. They're going in, you go on Reddit, you go on the forums, you go into the community and people are just looking at it. They're like, wow, this is something that is completely silly. It's as far away, it's as far away from Wall Street as you could possibly get. But that's the thing about cryptocurrencies. There are no rules here. It's completely different. It's a wild beast that you cannot tame. You will not understand it. All the things you learned about in school, you have to throw them out the window. If you want to make money, there is some money to be made with Dogecoin. I'm not saying it is an investment. This is in no means necessary that video. I had a couple days ago, a subscriber messaged me links to Dogecoin, why he think it will break out. It did break out. I did not invest in it and it went up like a hundred percent and I was like, wow, that is crazy. And I saw that there was potential for it to break out. I knew there was potential for it to break out. I'm not investing. I'm still not like, cause it is what it is. It's fun. It's cute. But if you're looking at it as an investment vehicle long term, maybe there's some money to be made. Maybe there isn't. However, it doesn't matter because there's a lot of very useful things to take from it. First of all, you go to it, you can learn very well about cryptocurrencies and marketing and other people and it's a giant connecting tool. So the real money to be made isn't inside the actual token itself. It's kind of like Steemit. A lot of people still don't understand. Ever since the beginning, I supported Steemit. I did sell a little bit of Steemit because I was profiting off of it. I took my profit. People are laughing at that and they're like, oh, ha ha ha, you didn't make as much money as you wanted to off the markets. But here's the thing. We are playing the long-term game. It doesn't matter about day trading. It doesn't matter about holding and holding and holding. There's different, there's different strategies and my strategy is a little different than all of these. I focus on the marketing. Now, of course, I try and incorporate all these different elements, but you go into a community, you infiltrate it. No, I mean, you take part in it, you join it, you just, you have fun. And if it works out, cool, you might have made you might as well make some money on top of it. So pretty much over the past couple of days, the explanation was that Dogecoin was looking to break out. There was some action. It was behind Bitcoin. It was behind all the other altcoins. It did. That's what happened. Now it suffered. Now it is going through a pullback as most altcoins are. Bitcoin went to 20,000, then it pulled back to 18 and a half thousand. Then you get FOMO again because everyone starts buying up and it's a mixture between FOMO and FUD. But here's the thing you have to look at with communities like Steemit, with communities like Dogecoin, with the Bitcoin community, with cryptocurrencies. It's not so much about the money you're making right now. It's so 2017 to be thinking about that. Look at 2022, look at 2030. What can you take from these communities? It's the connections, it's the experience. So you go in, you try and learn as much as possible. You go message some of these guys who are tipping a bunch, message some of these guys who are posting a bunch. You become one of those content creators. Start networking, start connecting, build your own YouTube channel, go full out on social media platforms, connect it with cryptocurrencies learn from Dogecoin. It is fantastic that they sponsored a bunch of teams. I hope they continue to do that. That is great. And in the end, it is kind of a joke coin. It's a meme coin. The creator of it's like, oh, he doesn't really care because he made money and he's probably on some better projects right now. However, what we can take away from this is in the cryptocurrency world, sometimes things just don't make sense. Wall Street is shocked by it, but all it takes is for a bunch of people to group up against the rest, the bad guys. I mean, technically there is no opposition. Technically there is no competition. It's just the opposition as Chris from Cryptoverse said. However, we are all entitled to our own perspectives. So if you didn't enjoy this, please dislike and let me know why you didn't. But my advice to you, start looking at Dogecoin. Take as many lessons away from it as you can. Apply that to Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the other crypto communities and you shall be good. Invest wisely. However, I do have a video about that coming out soon. There's just been a lot going on this week. Thanks so much for watching. Please stay tuned tomorrow or not. I mean, whatever. We'll see you guys later. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we shall see you guys in a bit. Kubera out.